DJI is at it again, and this time, the price might just blow your mind. The brand new DJI Neo 2, officially teased for launch on October 30th, promises to be one of the most exciting compact drones of the year. And here's the twist, it starts at just $229. For under $250, DJI is bringing pro-level features like gesture and voice control, upgraded flight time, and direct charging to the ultra-lightweight drone category. If you love affordable, travel-friendly drones, this might just be your next must-have gadget. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and drop a comment below with your first impressions. I'd love to hear what you think about this sleek new DJI release. Now, let's break it down. The DJI Neo 2 is designed for solo travelers, vloggers, and beginners who want smooth, cinematic shots without lugging around heavy gear. The design keeps its ultra-portable identity, weighing in at just 135 grams, lighter than most smartphones. Yet, it looks and feels far more capable than its predecessor. According to early leaks and images shared by Igor Bogdanov, the Neo 2 maintains a familiar look, but with noticeable refinements. One of the biggest visual upgrades is the addition of new omnidirectional sensors, now visible on both the front and rear sides. These sensors enhance obstacle detection and stability, giving users a safer, smarter flying experience. The most noticeable visual upgrade on the DJI Neo 2 is the addition of new omnidirectional sensors on the front. This marks a major improvement over the first Neo's limited obstacle detection system. The updated setup provides greater environmental awareness, helping the drone navigate tight spaces and avoid collisions even in complex flight paths. However, given the Neo 2's lightweight sub-250 gram design, they're more likely advanced optical or infrared sensors rather than true LiDAR. On the rear, a redesigned digital transmission receiver and antenna system powered by DJI's OcuSync 4 technology ensures a stronger, more stable connection ideal for FPV goggles and wireless controllers. With smoother real-time transmission and improved control, the DJI Neo 2 strikes a perfect balance between portability, performance, and safety for both new and experienced pilots. When it comes to visuals, the camera system has taken a major leap forward. The Neo 2 can now shoot in 4K at 60 frames per second, doubling the frame rate of the original Neo. Add 10-bit HDR and D-Log-M color profiles to the mix, and you've got a compact drone capable of delivering professional-grade footage. It runs on a 1-1.3-inch CMOS sensor with 13.5 EV stops of dynamic range, ensuring crisp detail, rich colors, and balanced exposure, even in tricky lighting conditions. The gimbal has also been upgraded from a single axis to a two-axis stabilization system, offering noticeably smoother footage during flight. Combine that with smart features like auto return home, object tracking, and gesture slash voice control, and you're looking at one of the smartest compact drones DJI has ever made. Battery life has improved too, now offering up to 19 minutes of flight time, while still keeping the drone lightweight. Another win? Direct charging support. You can now charge it straight via cable, no bulky hub required. Pricing is refreshingly simple and budget-friendly. The Fly Solo bundle priced at $229, the Creator Combo at $299, the FPV Starter Pack at $399, and the Fly More Kit at $449. And since it's a sub 249 gram drone, you won't need to register it with the FAA in most regions. That makes it perfect for travelers and hobbyists who want to skip the paperwork and start flying right away. So, mark your calendars for October 30th. DJI's Compact King is almost here, and it's shaping up to be one of the most value-packed drones of 2025. Now it's your turn. Will you be buying the DJI Neo 2 when it drops, or are you already flying a different drone? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates. The DJI Osmo Action 6 is rumored to upgrade from the Action 5 Pro's 1-1.3-inch sensor to a larger 1-1.1-inch sensor, roughly 40% bigger, offering improved low-light performance and dynamic range. A new variable aperture ranging from f/2.0 to f/4.0, a game-changer for an action camera. Unlike the Action 5 Pro's fixed f2.8, this feature gives creators true manual exposure control, 
something previously reserved for premium mirrorless or cinema cameras. In bright, sun-drenched scenes like beaches or snowy slopes, narrowing to f4.0 keeps your footage smooth and cinematic, without the hassle of ND filters. When the light fades, at sunset or in dim environments, opening to f2.0 brightens your shot and reduces noise, delivering crisp, clean visuals. It's the kind of flexibility that filmmakers and advanced users have been waiting for in a compact form. Design-wise, DJI has made thoughtful refinements. The familiar pill-shaped element beneath the front screen is gone, replaced by a minimalist white square beside the Action logo. This subtle change isn't just cosmetic. The color temperature sensor, once hidden in the O of the Action logo, likely lives there now. The result is a sleeker, more cohesive front design. A tiny new dot next to the logo hints at a possible new component, perhaps an ambient light sensor for automatic screen brightness or a discrete microphone hole. If it's the former, this would be DJI's first move to separate display brightness control from the main camera sensor. Overall, DJI's philosophy shines through. Evolution, not revolution. Every tweak feels deliberate. Every detail refined. With its adjustable aperture, elegant design, and smarter sensors, the Osmo Action 6 signals DJI's intent to elevate the action camera game once again. Before we dive in, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, because DJI just shook the entire action cam market with a surprise price twist and a release window that's now nearly confirmed. Yes, the DJI Action 6 is officially happening. Multiple trusted sources have confirmed the leaks, and we already have real product images plus the core specs in hand. DJI isn't playing safe this year. They're going bold with a near one inch camera sensor, delivering a huge upgrade in low light performance and dynamic range. Paired with a variable aperture, this thing is stepping into cinema territory, letting creators nail exposure and achieve deeper, more dramatic background blur. Battery life? DJI is rewriting the rules with a massive four-hour runtime, a huge leap beyond anything GoPro or Insta360 currently offers. This is DJI's moment to dominate the flagship action space. And so far, they're winning. Now, here's the release twist. Earlier rumors pointed to October 24th to 28th for the launch event, but fresh info from a major accessories brand confirms the embargo lifts before November 10th, 2025 meaning the announcement is guaranteed before that date, with pre-orders going live instantly and units arriving on shelves mid-November 2025. Pricing is shockingly competitive. $329 base bundle, $429 extras bundle, and $479 to $579 adventure bundle. High-end features at a lower than expected price? Vloggers, travelers, and pro users just got a new favorite camera. Stay tuned, Action 6 is about to take over. But it's now slightly thicker because inside, there's a lot more power. The front circular lens is bigger and wrapped in a slick, textured metal bezel with a new pill-shaped element below the front screen that gives it a more polished, premium look. And yes, it's still rugged, IP68 rated, waterproof up to 20 meters without a case. That's GoPro-level confidence right there. 